classic come to play tap land pass from the gen player. Do you like the, the 27 land? I think it's gen? necessary. I think you need to do that in order to make your mana. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, but do you do you like the deck? Like Jund? Uh. No. That, do you like <laughs> the twenty yeah. the twenty seven land version? I think yeah. I think yeah. I think I, if I were playing Jund, it would be with twenty seven land. I would always want to make a land drop, and I would want my colors to be good. And it's kind of hard to do that with less. Those man lands. Those man lands are really really nice. Creature land. Sorry. Don't let don't <laughs> let Bill Stark. Sorry. That one. So Giddy Crash is there with a 2-2 Wild Cattle. Lee and the other hand started off with two Man Lands. Oh, Creature Lands. <laughs> Wait a minute. Bill Stark's actually walking by. Hey, Bill Stark! Man Land! <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like a second to Coddle there. Uh. Yeah, typically, you don't like putting out double copies of any permanence against a Jund deck. Well, but it gives them a lot of value out of their Maelstrom Pulses. But if he's, yeah, <laughs> if he's on, if he's on one fewer card, he might figure he's got to. It's now or never. He's not going to win the long race. Yeah, that could be right. And actually, um, I think it was Brad Nelson who was speaking with Brian Kowal, who said um, while testing. Um, he would rather have two Nakados Maelstrom Pulse than to have that Maelstrom Pulse hit the um, the Behemoth Sledge in the deck. Right. Because the Behemoth Sledge is very valuable in this right. matchup. And that's the only card that can that can get yeah. it out of there. Right. And Mesa was drawn by Gindy this turn. Well, that's, that Thrynex could be problematic for Gindy, though. He did have a lightning bolt. Let's see what else is there. Two lightning bolts. Yep. Are you lightning bolt and just deal with the one ones? Looks like that could be a consideration right now. Let's see. All right, both wild the kind of come in. Fetch land for a plane, presumably. There comes some sexy tokens. Oh my god! <laughs> Summer Shy tokens enter the field. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you already have your playset? set? Oh, sure. Rashad token? I got a big pile of Rashad tokens. Does it encourage you to make more decks that create tokens? Um, well, you know, I've got a Lord of Tressorhorn zombie EDH deck <laughs> and it needs lots of tokens. You're a zombie now. I'm making a good zombie. <laughs> all right, Lee. He's just gonna send all his tokens in there. Gindy draws a noble high arc. That's a jury step. <laughs> Might not want to read the chat. You'll end up wanting to disqualify a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> people just just best to leave it alone just, just kind of watch the match <laughs> all right noble hierarchy pass looked like lee was considering terminating the noble hierarchy but decides against it draws a blood braid out for this turn and that's what's going to be played ouch ouch and lightning bolt Well, that's, how how that's, does Jun do it? That's Jun doing what Jun does, right? This is true. <laughs> it looks like Gindy just drew another land, Mystic Rainforest. Lays out a Sun Petal Grove. Doesn't have very much action going on. He's got on. a lightning bolt in hand. Is that going to do it? Is that enough? And that doesn't sound like enough. Unless Lee's decisions to play the Raging Ravine. <laughs> and then... Gindy is able to draw something hot off the top. Ooh, so there's... <laughs> Whoa, that's a nice little play there. Trace Abundance Trace on the Raging of <laughs> yeah. Rage Ravine. Setting, setting it up. <laughs> now, you can't, now he can't bolt that one. <laughs> it looks like Gindy just drew a Ranger of Eos. 
Oh, that'll stop the onslaught for a Yep. It's a good draw. About, about as good as a draw you can get. So Missy Rainforest also set. Is that a scoop mob? Scoop mob? Scoop mob, and yeah. Wild Mikado have to sing. Wild Mikado, yep. Can, can he good. hear me? Or am I psychic? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is the is the walkie talkie on that's with the judge? Maybe they can't hear you. <laughs> maybe he has it on baby monitor mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's already a Terminate, I think a Terminate and a Maelstrom Pulse yeah, in hand. I def def yep, there sure is. Lots of, lots of ways to handle Gindy's threats here. This game is not looking too good. Unless you can make him use those removal spells now and Gindy draw something like a Bane Slayer Angel. Otherwise, Lee's very much in control. Hey, Charles is at 8, so... Yeah, this would be a tough come. This would be a tough comeback. I think we might see the Maelstrom pulse, pulse now, and then the. Oh well, we won't be seeing the term. Oh, will we? does Trace Abundance tap for any mana? Uh, yeah, e I believe so. Any color, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, so we're gonna see in the turn. And gives, you, gives your land cannot be targeted. I don't yeah. know if it says shroud. Or it's shroud. It says shroud. It's shroud. Yeah. Not troll shroud. Not troll shroud. <laughs> I didn't make is that, that another. Is that another one that, that, that uh, Bill Stark doesn't like? <laughs> I, I, I haven't <laughs> run that one by him yet. Is that part of the uh, the editorial stance of uh, Jesus <laughs> Live that, uh, that, that, that Bill Stark's got to like it? Well, I mean, no, not necessarily. he doesn't necessarily have to like it. We need to have here his opinion, though, so we can talk about it. End of turn. Oh. There we go. End of turn, terminate. Yep. I think we can... See where this one's going? Yeah, well, Rage Ravine's coming in. I don't even think that card's very relevant that was just drawn because this man is going into activating Rage and Ravine. Into the red zone. There we go. I think we're all in it. Yeah. And Gideon will take six there. Brings him down to two. Another Ranger might be all right. That'll be probably the best thing. Oh, knights. Okay. Not sure how big that knight is. I'm not sure if uh, he's got. Yeah, he's, he's got three sack lands at least. Yeah. How big is that? At least that taps the deck. How big is the knight? His body language says, "I like what I drew." Well, he drew. Siege gig. Oh, I think that was a uh, goblin room blaster. Goblin room blaster. Right. Oh. One of the goblins, either goblin seems all right. It's a rune blaster. <laughs> that knight's a 5-5 five five right now. Yeah, if that's a rune blaster, that admits game over. So are we just trading straight up? Oh, so 5-5. Five five for one more player for a yeah, I guess we're just trading. Four-player game. What? $5 and the winner gets $20 in dealer credit. Start what? I don't know. Does so he need one more player for EDH? Well, I mean, Room Blaster wouldn't have won the game. It would have. Did Actually, Room would have been that. Right now. Go, oh, goes past a lot of um, action cards. Two Blood Braids, two um, Ranger VLs. Go to the bottom. Bane Slayer, too. And a Bane Slayer? Yep. Four power blood braid elf comes in. Life is ten to two. Maelstrom pulse drawn by Lee, so this should be near game over. Unkicked. Yep. Unkicked the rune blaster, and that will take the last two. All right, to so the sideboards we go. <laughs> so, so you really don't know who the general is you're going to play there in San Juan, I, or you? I, I don't. I don't know, but I do know that I want to make a new deck. You just want to make a special deck for. I do. I, I feel like it's a special occasion. It is a special occasion. You playing EDH with Brian David Marshall and Scott Larrabee and myself. What? What more could a man yes, want? Thank you. <laughs> 
Well, we you could want to see. Um, hey, how close are you to Atlanta? I live in Tampa. I have no clue how far things are from anything. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought while we talk about the open series that we're gonna have going on. Yeah, in May first, May second, Star City Games is gonna be in Atlanta for another uh, Star City Games Open, 10K weekend, 5K standard on Saturday, 5K Legacy on Sunday. That'll be another great event, and I think Rashad wants to see you there. <laughs> I mean, I do. I want to see you everywhere, but well, I this mean, is, we hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> 